This is the hilly north of Provence between the Rhone Valley and the Alps. The sun shines a lot here and in summer the perfume of lavender dominates. The countryside is dotted with attractive fruit groves and the local apricots and cherries are out of this world. The two biggest crops of the region are grapes for wine and olives and the olives of Nyons are used to make some of the best olive oil in France. Everywhere herbs grow widely and the local farmers sell honey with lots of different flavors. The lavender honey is often used to make the very famous nougat. I have never seen the genuine nougat being made by an artisan before. So I am thrilled to be at André Boyer, Master Nougatier, a pâtisserie in Sceaux, in the north of Provence, that has made nougat since 1887. Pascal, the head nougatier, first prepares a soft nougat blanc, made by cooking beaten egg whites and hot lavender honey to a very precise temperature. Then he adds plenty of roasted almonds. The exact recipe is of course a secret. Once cooked, the nougat is molded into large slabs and covered with a type of rice paper. The, the key with a soft nougat blanc is that once you have made it, is to let it rest for 24 hours before you cut it. Even better to my taste is the black nougat, made by cooking Provençal lavender honey and sugar to a light caramel, then very slowly adding some raw almonds. The key element in cooking a black nougat is that the honey and sugar should never burn, so you need to keep the temperature by adding some almonds to keep it down. The process takes a while. Slowly the almonds are roasted to perfection and coated with some bittersweet lavender flavor. It is molded and when just cold, it is cut into blocks ready for sale. A quality nougat is a nougat with plenty of almonds. This moist and delicious local apricot gâteau is easy to prepare for home cooks. Almond and honey feature in so many Provençal desserts and in this gâteau they make a big difference, especially for the texture. I start with cutting some ripe apricots in half. Then I cream 150 grams of butter and 100 grams of sugar for a few minutes. Beat in three eggs and stir in 50 grams of orange blossom honey, 100 grams of self-raising flour, and lastly, 120 grams of almonds, very, very finely chopped. The mixture is poured into a battered and floured mold. I top with apricot halves, all sides up. It's good for presentation to sprinkle the top of the fruit with a little caster sugar and drop flake almonds into the spaces between the apricots. Bake at 180 degrees for about 50 minutes. Look at this, so rustic. The flavor of Northern Provence in a gâteau aux amandes et aux abricots. C'est bon. Tomorrow, our journey is finally taking us to the Alps and for the next four days, we are going to discover the rich gastronomy of the region.